Snow dogs are awesome all-terrain vehicles. I mainly use mine for winter activities such as ice fishing, trapping, or just out cruising trails. They do, however, have what I consider to be a major design flaw. If you have a snow dog or a track sled, this video is going to help you make improvements on your machine. With that being said, let's get into it. The only complaint I have about my snow dog is the location of the stock oil plug. This is the new drain assembly that I'll be replacing the stock oil plug with. As always, links to the products are in the description below. The new drain assembly consists of two parts, the quarter turn brass ball valve and the M12 to one quarter inch metric pipe adapter. For me, step-by-step -step tutorials are the easiest to follow. I've broken this video up into easy to follow steps. Step one, you need to remove the screws holding the storage bag to the deck. Once the three screws are removed, the top of the bag is held to the frame by a Velcro strip. Step two, you'll need to remove enough screws to free the canvas skin to expose the area that we will be working in behind the motor. A helpful tip if you have this model of Snow Dog is to place all of the hardware you take off back into the storage bag that we just removed. By removing the bag and pulling back one side of the canvas skin, we have now exposed the stock oil plug. Next, you'll want to loosen the two motor mount bolts closest to the oil plug. If you look at the magnified bolt, you'll notice that I have loosened it about a quarter of an inch. And by doing this, it's going to allow us to tilt the motor forward to put the valve on. Next, we will loosen the oil plug while the machine is level on the ground. That way, we don't knock the dog over when we have it tilted up on blocks. Because we are about to tip the machine on its nose, it's best to engage the disc brake so the machine doesn't try to run forward. Next, we will tip the machine forward on its nose. You'll need to use blocking to keep it supported while it's tipped. The reason we are tipping the machine forward is because we are about to remove the loosened oil plug and we don't want the oil running all over the place. Next, we will thread the brass ball valve and the metric pipe adapter together. Once the valve and the adapter are together, you'll want to snug them up by using a set of wrenches. Once the new oil plug, or drain assembly as we'll now call it, is ready, we will then remove the oil plug. If you have ever changed the oil in any motor, you will know it's a good idea to have an oil rag at hand to wipe up any oil that drips where it shouldn't be. Next, we will take a large flat screwdriver and wedge up the loosened motor. By doing so, we will now have enough space to thread the drain assembly into the motor. With the motor slightly raised, we will now thread the drain assembly into the motor. The metric pipe adapter has a rubber o-ring that will make a tight seal and prevent the motor from leaking oil. You'll need to tighten the drain with a wrench. Take caution not to over tighten the drain and strip the motor threads. One step that needs to take place that I did not get footage of is that the handle to the ball valve needs to be removed before installation of the drain. Even by wedging and raising one end of the motor, you won't be able to twist the drain on with the handle in the way. Here, you will see me reinstalling the handle. With the drain installed, we will now remove the flat screwdriver that wedged up the motor. Now that the drain is installed, we will start putting the snow dog back together. Start by tightening the two loosened motor mount bolts closest to the drain. We can now remove the blocking holding the machine up. Careful not to trip like I almost did. This is a threaded push lock with vinyl tubing. This is what we will use to drain the oil from the motor. The drain valve that we just installed has threads that we can lightly twist the drain hose into. By doing so, we can now easily control how we drain the oil. It is easier to drain warm motor oil rather than cold. Let the motor run for at least five minutes to help the old oil flow easy. And remember, Always have good ventilation if you are running a combustion engine in an enclosed area. 
We will now elevate the nose of the machine to help us ensure that all of the old oil drains out. With the drain hose installed, we can now turn the ball valve to drain the old oil. This machine is new from the dealer. The old oil still has plenty of life. However, it is a good practice to not trust the dealer to do your maintenance for you. A lot of people will buy a piece of equipment from a store or dealership and not even check the oil. Don't be that person. With the old oil out, we can now remove the drain hose and store it elsewhere. The only time you will have the hose attached to your machine is when you're changing the oil. Next, we will add new motor oil. This model of Briggs & Stratton drinks 35 to 39 fluid ounces of full synthetic 5W30. We are now going to run the machine for a minute to warm and level the new motor oil. That way we can check to see if we have the right amount of oil in the machine. With the motor oil levels good, we will now reinstall the storage bag. I have found it easier to remove or install the bag with the side canvas off. And lastly, we will now reinstall the side canvas. It only took three bolts to give us enough space to work on the machine from the side. When using an impact to reinstall bolts, it is best to be cautious so you don't cross thread a bolt and ruin the bolt and the rivet nut. Hey, as always, there are many ways to do something. This video simply outlines how I modded my machine to be what I consider more efficient. Since filming this video, I have put dozens of hours and countless trips on this machine and haven't had any issues with the drain assembly that we installed here today. I truly hope this video was helpful to you or at least gave you some ideas of how to make your vehicle's maintenance easier. If so, if you could give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated. Again, thanks for watching. We'll catch you out there in tight lines.